actually make them attractive to test their market. Business people have money. And they spend their money. And if it's in this indication from Facebook, LinkedIn's going to be doing a lot of ads as well. And that's how they're going to make their money. Right? There's a way to make money. Well, LinkedIn alone has over 433 million Digital population. Everybody who's on on the internet, right? It's only 37 percent, right? It's not everyone. It's just a, a few people. I want you to know this because I want you to know the statistics of this platform and who's on here and who's using it. This is interesting, right? Only 13 percent of millennials, age 13 to 30, are on LinkedIn. Makes sense, doesn't it? But that's not the case here. majority of social media uh, interaction and engagement is, is typically female. Right? But LinkedIn, we have, we have a flip flop. Now this is interesting too. The average user spends about 20 minutes a month on LinkedIn. This is not like a daily browser. They're not going through this thing all the time hanging out on there. There are people that do, and the people that do hang out on here all the time are avid about LinkedIn and LinkedIn. Right? Let me see if we talk about here in this chat. One of the most popular networks in terms of active users. So when people actually are active users, it's very popular to use all the time. This is interesting. Okay. Yeah. So according to the industry statistics, LinkedIn has the highest record of actually placing candidates. All right, placing people who are looking for work, looking for jobs, looking for leads, looking for employment. And in, in 2000 and was that? So far in the first quarter of 2016, 35 billion page views in LinkedIn. Good stuff. So what are you talking about um, becoming an authority on LinkedIn? Now, uh, <laughs> there's a little story I like to tell. I knew a doctor, you know, he had a receptionist, a brand new receptionist, and he said, I do one of his first meetings. And so he says, all right, let, you know, the receptionist says, hey, we got a meeting in 10 minutes. And I said, okay, all right, let me know. Let me know when you come in. So he knocks on the door and he now's the time. And he gets on the phone, he's, he has both sets of appointments talking. Blah, blah, blah. Now, yes, sir, I'll, I'll get that straight away. Or, or we'll, we'll, get, we'll get this going. And he quickly starts plugging away on his, on his, on his computer on his laptop. And the guy knocks his door. He says, uh, hey, uh, I'm here to start up your uh, internet. <laughs> right? I mean, you totally, you want to make a good first impression. You want to be looking good. But not all the time does that happen. Um, here on LinkedIn, you need to make a good first impression. Because um, because you're able to you're able to make a good first impression on here, and I'll show you how. Um, it's funny to me though what that is, what a good impression really is on LinkedIn. What do you guys think that is? What do you think a good impression on LinkedIn is? Any ideas? Yeah. A great profile. <coughs> a professional photo. Perfect. What else? Any other ideas? What makes a good LinkedIn? Recommendation, right? Yeah. What about skills that other people say that you have? Yeah? Those are all good. Recommendations are great. Yeah. Um, okay, here's another really good one. Social proof, right? Social proof. What we're living in now is a day and age where we are doing social media word of mouth marketing. Okay? This is what's happening. And when you go and meet with somebody and you shake their hand and say, hey, I'm, hey, I'm Josh, hey, I'm Sue, and you guys are two players and you go about your day, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to look you up. Now they're going to look you up. They're going to check you out. They make sure that you are not out partying last night, you know, or whatever. They go and check you out and make sure that you're um, a quality person. And this is a way to see if you can really make your image be exactly what you want. What they find out when they look you up is going to either strengthen your relationship or it's going to break it. That's what's going to happen. So you're going to strengthen your relationship. This isn't anything new. This is not, um, this isn't anything new. How many of you guys uh, know, like, landlords, uh, people that have multi-extended housing or anything like that? Do you think that they go out and when they, when they have some
some sort of an application or, or apply to be, to be a good home depot person work on social media? Employers in the hiring team, do you think they're working on social media? Absolutely. Exactly what people are doing for the kids. So, adding a professional photo, right? Adding a professional photo will lead to 14 times more likely for you to be found on LinkedIn. 14 times. And it will make 36 times more likely to receive a message when you add to your profile picture alone. There's 13 times increase in views on people who list their skills on LinkedIn. And if you list over five skills or more, you're going to experience 17 times the amount of profile views that you would if you didn't have any skills at all. optimization, all right? Do you know what that means? Do you, do you know that, that from here on out, thank you. Uh, do you know that from here on out, um, social media is basically have search engines in, inside of them? You know, if you go on Facebook and you type in Medford Real Estate Agents, you know that someone's gonna come up? And on LinkedIn too, if you type in Medford Real Estate Agents, someone's going to come up, right? And you can influence how you come up when someone types that kind of stuff. You can actually influence what you come up for. It's pretty interesting. LinkedIn has a very, very uh, uh, unique algorithm. So, actually, Travis, you know what we're gonna do? Can you go to my, uh, just go to uh, my LinkedIn profile? If you just pull that phone down. Let's walk through. So I'm going to show you guys what, we're going to go ahead and walk through what those items are. And don't fret, I will get you guys this, uh, you get you this slide, what you need to do is after this conference, go onto our website, go onto our contact form, request that you get this kind of stuff, and we will send it to you. We will email you these notes. It will be step by step what you need to do. All right. But, first thing, first thing, the title. All right? The title. That needs to be dialed. It needs to be what you want to be coming up for. That needs to be your keyword. Your status, right? So, yeah. what was the name of the whole program? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, it'd be it'd be like Medford Real Estate Agent. Yeah, it'd be Medford Real Estate Agent, or uh, you know. So most of us have uh, companies looking for, or have the, the company in there. Well, it's more important for us to. At this point, you want to actually have this keyword in here. You want to put these keywords in here, and with LinkedIn. Aspen Real Estate Broker. Yeah, yeah. Because you're going to have your company right there. Yep. Just Aspen Real Estate Broker. It's not your company name. It's not anything like that. What you can do, actually, as a matter of fact, is you can do, uh, you can do Aspen Real Estate Broker dash, one line, uh, Realtor. All right? I'm going to show you an example of somebody who does that and is one of the most successful real estate agents on LinkedIn in San Francisco right now. And she does that exact tactic. She uses, she stuffs her keywords. All right? Her, her keywords for her yeah. LinkedIn. Not dash, up and down, I'll show you. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, uh, all right, previous work, right? This is important. Your previous work, they do look at that. That doesn't, that does have a factor on just uh, uh, what's going on, where you're at, okay? Your education, all right? Your education, work. Sorry, can you skip over status? What did you say about status? Status, it's this, it's this right here. It's, um, it's, it's basically marketing and advisors, all right? It's just, it's just your, you know, you can go ahead and put, uh, Realtor, there, okay? You can put. Uh, there you go. Yep. You can put, yeah, you can find your real estate designation right there. Okay. Can you add areas that aren't, uh, so like in our area, what comes up is Medford or an area? Can you add tasks or anything like that on there? Uh, so on which part? Sorry. For uh, in, in your status, it's actually got areas. Okay. Well. Can you go ahead and uh, go ahead and say that again? What is this one? 975. Put 
This lady's profile because it's um, go ahead and All right, go ahead and click on uh, Layla. And go to her description. Oh, All right. Look how many times she's saying San Francisco real estate agent in there, right? Okay, that's not she's not being shy. She's saying it uh, quite a bit of times in a readable way. All right, let's let's go on. Um, if you go down, you can see. It's, uh, oh, oh, excuse me. In the summary, guys, you you can add pictures. In fact, you can add videos too. All right. What do you want to name those pictures and videos in the summary? Keywords. Your keywords, right? The target keywords. What do you want? What do you want to show up for in the search? But if you go back to mine, Travis. You want to name that your, your ideal keyword. Your experience, right? What's your job? What's your past job experience? If you've been a realtor in several different places, LinkedIn's going to automatically assume you've been a realtor for some time, right? Right. So, so list your job experience. Make sure that you use your keywords in your job experience. Okay. Have that in there. Again, make it natural, readable, but don't be afraid. Don't be light-handed on it. You want, you want, you want to give it some time. people that are friends of yours on LinkedIn, hey, I, you can actually request to get skills and recommendations on skills, okay? You can actually request that to your friends, to your followers, if they do that for you. If they do that for real estate, right, that's again, once again, it's just solidifying. Now, over 99 people have killed this guy, or this person is a pro at real estate, okay? <coughs> Skill-wise, you still, are you
a recommendation. Your recommendation, what people are saying about you, and what they are saying in there, that does matter. That we don't have control of. What do we, how do we have control of what people are saying? But that does matter. Your, rec your recommendation, what people are saying about you in those recommendations. Yeah. It matters in terms of if your recommendation on the site or in terms of coming up in front of coming up, uh, coming up uh, for doing actual events here at Dunn Lincoln. So if you come up, um, if this is one of those factors that, hey, do you want to do that Ashland, uh, Ashland Real Estate Broker, right? It would be great if one of your people said, hey, yeah, this person's awesome, that's great, that's the way to do it. Um, okay, education, that's another, it's another, um, powerful tools today in social media to become an influencer. That's what we're talking about here. You know, that's kind of the theme is, is becoming an influencer, becoming an authority, right, in your market. Facebook groups allows you to do, or LinkedIn groups allows you to do that. Um, 
you have to get, you have to request to join your group. You have to request to join a, a group, and they have to accept you in. But there's all kinds of groups, like uh, Southern Oregon Real Estate Group. There's all, there is you know Sonoma Valley Real Estate Group. All these different networks that you can go ahead and insert yourself into. And then what I like to do inside of groups, every five to six days, I like to put a little nugget, a little bit of value, right, in there for them. And it might be. Uh, it might be business humor, right? It might be something about your industry. It might be something about your local area. Some kind of nugget into this group so that you're there. So that people see that you're there and that you're active, right? And what you're doing is you're growing the buzz about who you are and, and what you want online. And um, and when people want to want to connect with a real estate agent in Southern Oregon, and you're posting on this Southern California group, and you're and you've been in there for a few months and they're looking for a house, someone to buy a house up here, well, who are they gonna call if they don't know anybody else? You gotta tap for the right word. Um, <clears throat> There's also another hidden benefit to being in groups. When you get into groups with somebody, you can now go ahead and friend them openly. And, and LinkedIn doesn't block, you know, doesn't say, they don't like block you from being trying to be a friend of someone that's in a group of. Why? Well, you're in a group with them. It makes sense. You're an associate somehow. So that's why they allow you to go ahead and get past that typical gate for the for, for people random to meet with each other. Um, <clears throat> so I talked about how you can uh, become an authority by your own profile, increasing your own profile, optimizing your own profile so that when people look for you on LinkedIn, they see you. One thing I want to talk about is skills and endorsements, right? Those those things, having other people vouch for you, right? We have networks here, right? This is a network right here, right? You guys know each other, okay? Why not endorse each other, right? If you know each other, if you have a good feeling about that person, why not endo endorse each other? Why not give each other recommendations and get a few of those on your side, right? Why not? What's preventing us from doing that? That, that's what we should do. We should, we should really um, work with each other and try and build up our, 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 our recommendations and skills. Okay, that's a huge thing. But another thing that I want to talk about is, um, and, and we talked about groups, how you can actually become a little bit of an influence on groups. You consistently put on to that group, you know, five to six um, days apart, you're putting good value. People start seeing that. They start recognizing you. But there's another way that you get leads from, from LinkedIn. There's a way you get leads from LinkedIn. Now, if you go on to LinkedIn ProFinder, linkedin.com backslash home finder,
Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you.